Hello and welcome to another mod showcase. Today we're looking at Dangers in the Darkness. This is a Forge mod for 1.19.2. Since it's the Halloween season right now, I wanted to show off a spooky mod. This mod adds a collection of scary monster-like mobs into the game, so we'll keep this intro short and let's get on with the showcase. And our first mob is the Daunt. This mob will spawn in wet biomes like swamps and mangrove swamps. It is a giant lanky red creature. This thing will kill pretty much anything in its surrounding area. It has 50 health and when killed it can drop leather, bones, and iron gear. And our second mob is the Fever Dream. This mob has a small chance to spawn anytime you kill a hostile mob. It is a tall figure kind of similar to the Cave Dweller. And like the last mob it will also kill pretty much everything in sight. It has 150 health and when killed it has a chance to drop the Leg Spike. Which is a pretty strong weapon with 16.5 attack damage and 0.8 attack speed. And next up is the Maw Manta. This is a giant manta creature that lives in the oceans. They are a nice blue glowing color and they spawn in usually groups of two. They can spawn in any temperature of water but it must be a deep ocean. They have 80 health and when killed will drop a nautilus shell. And our first boss of the mod is the rock tentacle. This is a giant tentacle creature that spawns in lush caves. They spawn by sticking up out of the ground. It can't move at all so it only attacks you when you get really close. And it has 200 health. But this is just the normal version of it because you have to kill it to actually summon the real boss. And now this is the real rock tentacle. This thing has a bunch of tentacles coming out of it and it can actually move around. It technically has the same amount of health as the rock tentacle, but for some reason it's always missing 70 health when it spawns. So I guess it has 130 health. And when killed it will drop 10 to 20 of these tentacle scales. And there's a couple things you can do with these. As an item they do zero attack damage, so you literally cannot damage anything with it by itself. But you don't want it by itself, you want to use what it makes. One of these things is the tentacle scale sword, which is with three tentacle scales, two iron ingots, and one blaze rod. This weapon will deal 19 attack damage, has 1.5 attack speed, so even stronger than the previous weapon. And you can also make tentacle scale armor out of this, but you craft it the same way you would with normal armor, just with tentacle scales. And it is a little bit better than netherite. Our next mob is another boss, which is the Arboreal Colossus. This is a boss that spawns in taiga biomes. It stays asleep to blend in with the trees until you come near it. This is a huge mob, and it has over 375 health. It'll take a while to kill, and once you do it, it will still attack you a little bit. It'll release a bunch of spikes out of the ground and will make a big explosion. But it will drop the Iron Wood Club weapon. A big weapon that does 26 attack damage and has 0.5 attack speed. And our next mob is the Scuddler. This is probably the least dangerous mob in this mod. If it's not immediately hostile, it will actually try and run away from you. If it is backed up, it will attack. When it does, it will pick you up and give you poison and hunger. However, it will not kill you, it will just leave you very vulnerable. The mob is pretty weak, only having 25 health, so it is easy to kill. And if you do, it will just drop an experience bottle. And our last overworld mob is the Capsizer. This is another ocean mob that, like the Mob Manta, can spawn in any temperature, but it must be deep waters. And while this thing isn't a boss, it might as well be with how strong it is. Because this thing is huge. It is pretty rare, which is good, but if you see it, you definitely have to get away as soon as possible. This thing actually feeds on the Mob Mantas from earlier. You can know one of these things is near if you see the Mob Manta swimming away. This thing has 400 health, and when killed, it will drop a heart of the sea. Okay, I lied, there is actually one more overworld mob, and that's the Draco Flower. This mob, as you can see, is a pretty big and deadly flower. When you find it, it is usually sleeping, and if it is, it is best to just ignore it and walk away. But it can rarely spawn while awake, and if you get close to it while it's sleeping, it will wake up as well. And if you do so, it will start to attack. It has 200 health, and when killed, it will drop a Draco Flower Egg Seed. You can right-click the ground with this and it will spawn a mini Draco Flower that will actually protect you. But it can be nice to guard your house. Oh yeah, and the Draco Flower can also drop pork. I don't know where the pork is supposed to come from. And now for our second to last mob, we have the arm. This mob will spawn in the nether, specifically in soul sand valleys. It is a kind of flying mob with two big white arms. Be careful when you're in soul sand valleys because they are pretty common throughout them. They have 180 health and when killed it will drop netherite ingots. And our last mob in this mod is the monolith. This mob spawns in the end and is the biggest and strongest mob in this mod. And it is also a boss. They spawn kind of rarely when walking in the end island, so make sure you watch out for them. If you find one, they are incredibly hard to kill. They have a ton of defense as well. And if killed, it will drop a beacon. And that is everything that this mod has to offer. If you like this video or the mod, make sure you leave a like down below. As I said in the beginning, I want to do a kind of spooky mod for Halloween. I found this one and thought it was pretty cool. As always, download link is in the description. And I'll see you all when I upload next. Goodbye.